In this video, we'll learn how to access an EC2 instance using Session Manager. Now, before we get into the demo, just a few quick things. Session Manager can be used to connect to an EC2 instance through an interactive browser session. And it's very similar to what we see in the AWS console when we use EC2 Instance Connect. However, there is one key difference. Unlike EC2 Instance Connect, it does not require a network connection to the instance itself. So we're logging into the console and we're connecting to the EC2 instance from AWS Systems Manager. We are not connecting to it from our computer. And the authentication is based on IAM identity and policies. It does require that the SSM agent is installed on the EC2 instance and that the appropriate IAM role is assigned to the EC2 instance. We saw that in our last video. And all of the connection and session logging is going to occur within CloudTrail and within CloudWatch logs. So let's take a look at a little demo here. Here I am in the AWS console and I've already gone to Systems Manager. And in my little menu here on the left, I'm going to go to Session Manager. And in the last video, we saw that I do have an EC2 instance. So actually, before we go here, let's go back to Fleet Manager real quick. And I just want to verify, yep, I've got an instance, the node state is running, and the SSM agent is online. So I'm in good shape here. So now we can go to Systems Manager, and we can go to Session Manager, and we can start a session. So I'll just click on the Start Session button. I'll choose the instance that I was looking at just a moment ago, and I'll click on Start Session. And here we go. We can see that I've got a session successfully established to this EC2 instance. So now that we've got our Session Manager session started, I'm going to actually click Terminate on this session. And what I want to do is I want to actually demonstrate with absolute certainty that we are connecting to this instance from within AWS and not from my desktop. So let's go to EC2 and I'm going to look up this instance that I'm connecting to. Here it is. I'm going to go to security and I'm going to find my security group. There's my security group that's associated with this instance. And this security group, look what it's allowing, SSH inbound. So this security group is allowing SSH inbound from anywhere. And I need that for EC2 instance connect to work. I have to have that rule there. Well, I'm just going to quickly edit this inbound rule and I'm going to delete this. I'm no longer going to allow SSH inbound on this security group. And so I'll save that rule and let's go back to my instances and let's test out Instance Connect. So here is my instance. I'm going to click on Connect. I'm going to launch EC2 Instance Connect. I'll hit Connect here and it should not work. And there we go. It looks like it's not working. All right, good. So normally I wouldn't be happy about that, <laughs> but it is validating that my security group change has made that instance inaccessible through Instance Connect. Well, how about Session Manager? Let's go back to Systems Manager. Let's go over to Session Manager and I'm going to start a new session. Again, I'm going to pick that same instance that I just tried to get to, and I'm going to start a session to it. And I am in, no problem. I just did an LS command and, and I'm in and it's working. So that's the biggest difference between Session Manager and EC2 Instance Connect. Let me terminate this session again, and I'm just going to go back to EC2. The other really big difference between EC2 Instance Connect and Session Manager is the fact that we have to have an IAM role attached to this EC2 instance 
in order to use Session Manager. So let's go ahead and click on this iron roll just to refresh our memory very quickly. This iron roll includes the Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core Policy, which allows Systems Manager to connect to this instance. Okay, so the final thing that I'm going to do before I move on here is I'm going to go back to EC2 and I'm going to go back to my instance one more time here. And it looks like it switched regions on me. So I'll go back to the region I'm supposed to be in. And I'm going to go back to my security group and I'm just going to open SSH backup. And just so that it doesn't cause me some headaches in future demos. So I'm going to add a rule for SSH. I'm going to allow inbound SSH from anywhere again. I'll click on save rules. And one more time, I'm going to go back to instances and I'm going to verify that instance connect now works. So let's try to connect to this instance through instance connect and see if we are able to get in. And now it works just fine now that the security group is updated to allow SSH traffic.